third grade, it's Miss Frannis, and we're finishing up our genres today. We're going to be talking about the seven genres that were in Joe Bright and the seven genre dudes, but we're going to read a book that wasn't listed in there, which is humor. We didn't talk about humor, and that is another genre. So we're going to be reading a humorous book today, fiction, of course, but we're going to be reviewing those seven genres, and I want you to start thinking about what is your favorite genre? Because we're going to be working with that after this story. Have I got a book for you? Yes, written and illustrated by Melanie Watt. And you're like, boy, Melanie Watt, that name sounds so familiar. Well, she wrote and illustrated Scaredy Squirrel. And you know I love Scaredy Squirrel. If you are a Scaredy Squirrel fan, I think you're going to like Have I Got a Book for You. Now that I have your attention, let me introduce myself. Mr. Al Foxworth, salesman. Telephone 222, buy one now, extension four. Call me Al. I can sell anything. See for yourself. satisfied customers. I was a genius. I am finally cool thanks to the Icebox 2000. He sold me. Penguin. I was the best. The aqua umbrella changed my life. Fish. Owl rocks. Now I see the light with my deluxe dirt vacuum mole. Well, we could go on and on. But I know what you're thinking. Ow. I don't need all of this incredible stuff. I just need a great book. <laughs> well, this is your lucky day, my friend. Have I got a book for you. My number one bestseller. Say goodbye to boring books. You know the ones I'm talking about. Sleeping Beauty? Phew. Those storybooks, they put you to sleep. Mathematics? Huh. School books that, up, that add up to zero fun. Cookbooks? Ha! They leave a bad taste in your mouth. And don't even get me started with the dictionary. That book is so boring that words can't even describe it. Oh, um, let me take a moment to compliment you. The outfit you're wearing is simply breathtaking. It really brings out the color of your eyes. Now, my friends, let's talk business. I like you, so I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. If you buy my book in the next 10 seconds, I will throw in your very own top of the line. Bookmark. I know what you're thinking. Ow! This is just too good to be true! Reading is swell. <laughs> Not convinced? Research shows that 100% of my customers noticed a dramatic increase in happiness after buying 
my book before after amazing transformation the small print is here to inform you that the frog above is a paid professional actor results and smiles may vary And speaking of amazing, the amazing Al, licensed the fortune teller, I see great things in your future. Something you truly desire. More precisely, something oh, orange and rectangular. Mm, you're still not convinced? Okay. I admit it, I wasn't totally honest with you. There is something way better than this book. Two books! But Al, what are we gonna do with not one but two of your awesome books? Now that's an excellent question, little fella. Just use your second copy as a handy. Gift for a loved one. Unique hat. Hassle-free door stopper. Decorative coaster map that will make you look inches taller or a really cool thing to hide behind the possibilities are endless my friend now just imagine what you could do with 742 books for you've always wanted but never knew uh, duct tape not included <laughs> oh uh, you're still not convinced I'm warning you my books are in high demand they're flying off the shelves bye now Quantities are limited. Um, okay, well, I guess you'll think about it. Would you look at the time? Gotta go. Oh, but just one last thing. You break it, you buy it. Yes, we'll have to buy it. Boys and girls, that was our eighth um, genre, which was humor, which we didn't have in that um, our, our original book, but I thought it would be fun to kind of end it with humor. So maybe your favorite genre happens to be humor, or maybe it's our nonfiction book that we read. Of course, our nonfiction book we read was about art, or maybe it was realistic fiction. Remember, things that seem like it could really happen to us. Uh, maybe it's a mystery. Maybe you want to try to figure something out. Maybe it's science fiction where it's about space or time travel. Maybe you love historical fiction, books that are set in the past but have real historical um, things that have happened in them. Maybe it's folk literature. Maybe you like that folklore fairy tale. Or maybe it's poetry. So what is your favorite genre? 
When you think of your favorite genre, you can think of your book, of course. You can write the title of your book. You can talk about why you love that book. Give it a little award speech there. And then you can illustrate two award-winning scenes from your book there. And here, you can just put great book or you can title it however you want that award to, to read. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed our Joe Bright and the Seven Genre Dudes plus humor. And I will see you all next week. Bye.